I just did a bike check on my old school, new school project. If you haven't seen that, check it out. This is my main ride now. This is my 2011 St. Martin Evo. It's got an 18.5 inch top tube, which is right in between the two rigs that I was riding before. It feels really big for how big it actually is. And it actually is an 18.5, which is one of the very few St. Martins that has a top tube that's accurate to what's advertised. They're all different. They really are. And some people have said, yeah, but there's two types of top tubes. No. Ask people. They are all different. There was a guy that just commented on my old school, new school build, and he was talking about how his 19.1 St. Martin Wiest is a totally different size. But anyway, this frame, just a few days ago, looked really beat up. And I got this from my friend Wes, and he bought it from a museum member who I contacted about the paint because I wanted to find out if this was painted or what was done. And he had it powder coated after he bought it, this color blue, which kind of looks like, like 87 Dino Detour blue. After I found out it was powder coated, when I started beating it up, because this top two was beat to hell, I just polish it after, you know, a few weeks of riding, and it looks brand new again. It's a really, really good powder coat job. So, let's get to the parts. I used to ride the BSD Dunk grips, but then I switched back to the ODI POW grips, and I found a new old stock pair and snagged those I'm using par ends. And I've got OG Caramel 3 bars, which are really similar to the uh, OG Caramel 2 bars on my other ride, except for the crossbar is curved right here instead of straight across. I've got uh, M2 and mono lever levers with M2 slick, linear slick, and gyro cables going through the braking system. And then I've got a Odyssey compression bolt and then an Odyssey Tomahawk 53 millimeter stem that works really well with this setup. The, the room in between feels very old school, but it rides new school. Oh, there's an Odyssey headset, an Odyssey gyro plate, but I'm running an Impurity gyro. And then moving down, we've got an Odyssey flatware fork with demolition Vulcan tube brakes and Odyssey ghost pads. This is a G-Sport Marmoset hub with a G-Sport roll cage rim and Swiss DT spokes. And then these are uh, S&M Trackmark tires with Twiggy tubes inside. And these are G-Sport plugs, the first versions that are a lot fatter than the version twos. So, moving down, there's an Odyssey seat clamp with an Odyssey intact seat post and an Odyssey veteran seat that I actually found new at a bike shop in Alaska for like 35 bucks instead of spending a hundred on something that I was gonna trash. I wasn't gonna do that. So I found this thing new and bought it. When they shipped it to me, a couple of threads were jacked up from like shelfware, but it didn't matter because I was just gonna beat the shit out of it anyway. So moving down. There's a demolition Vulcan two brake in the rear with ghost pads and a shadow interlock chain. These are 125 millimeter profile mini mag cranks with Odyssey twisted PCs and a St. Martin Evo 22 sprocket and a Primo bottom bracket. Let's see, what else do we have? Let's move back. Another set of G-Sport plugs in the rear. And this is a G-Sport roll cage rim with Odyssey spokes and an Odyssey clutch hub with the 3 8 kit that I ground the shoulders off and actually turned into a true 3 8 kit that will slide right onto a 3 8 inch axle. No problem. Twiggy tubes in this one too with um,
with S&M Trackmark tires. And I think that covers the whole bike. I don't think I'm missing anything. Go back and get a couple more shots of it. The um, standover height is like 5 inches, where the St. Martin 10s are like 5.5. This is 5 inches, so the top tube is super, super low on it. So it's kind of cool because you can have a setup where the seat looks really high, but it's actually, the whole rig is still really low to the ground. So this has been my main ride for almost a year now and I'm pretty happy with it. It's right in between what I was riding before. And like I said, it's one of the few St. Martins where when you measure the top tube, it actually is 